I'm in the car. We're going to Disney World. And look who's in the car with me. Yeah, not you. Pay attention to the road. Rory, where are you going? You gonna go see Dave? Yeah, you can go see Dave. And Harley and Lacey are gonna be there to play with. The first up cup. Oh, I have nothing. Hang on. Hi. Hi there. Sorry, I'm trying to film. I'm trying to. Okay, see that. And in your photo ID. Beautiful. Enjoy your day. Thank you Thank very you. much. Yes. I didn't. You knew I was filming. You couldn't do your own thing. Well, no, the lane opened up. Like, great. I was worried the other guy was going to drive. See, sick this, this may still. Yes, this is still recording. Yep. Nice job. have to be cut drastically. Look, Epcot. Woohoo! I'm on vacation. Yes, I'm on vacation. Where do we start? Same place we always start. They're here. This is going to be tough. This works. I love it. And you can pretend stuff. that you're drinking Dole Whip when it's really by Rocks. Yeah, I love that. They're everywhere. Yeah. All right. There's a fourth display. Great. There's at least four displays of these things. We got mugs. Took me a second to register what this was from. And yeah, get it, get it, huh, huh, huh. Ah, oh, Perry, is it anything like this? Probably not. Let me make sure the Eiffel Tower is in the background. Okay. I think Morocco is too, though. Yeah. So very similar to Paris. In exactly, Paris. exactly like, yes. This is live exclusive footage of somebody building one of the cable cars. Or the gondolas or whatever. The things, whatever it is. The, the, yeah, you know. So what I'm reading here is that if you have this, it'll hurt a little. The art of steampunk. That is so cool. I think that spins. Nope. No. I know they're just going for IP being in their properties here. We're in the French Pavilion, obviously. It just looks like he's trolling. Oh, you want some of these? Oh, too bad. He's standing out of the way. Oh, duo, someday I will get you. But it's another festival, so no. It just dawned on me as we walked through the French gift shop why France kind of has this love it or hate it situation going on. And people think it's because of the rude French, and that might be true. But here's what it is. In Hawaii, everyone's like, I went to Hawaii and I got laid. And they got the flower lay wreath thing that they get around their neck. But if you go to France, well that's where you go to get berated. Hi there. How's your vacation? 
It's wonderful. Aw, he's waiting for Japan to open. Look at him. He's hungry. All right, so we've been watching other people's Disney videos and picking up some tips. And so we we realize that we're not so good about the, the food videos. Like, we'll just show you like what we're having, but we don't really say how it is or anything. So we're gonna be mindful and we're gonna talk about the food in detail instead of just wolfing it up. Sushi! <laughs> it is decent for a sushi roll in a pinch if you gotta have it. And this is, you could do worse than this. Um, freshly made, so that's what I'm looking for in my sushi roll. Fish melts in my mouth and the rice is decent. My ammo is always to do a little bit of wasabi as I do it because it's real easy to overpower it with more so just it's enough to kick it without being all I taste. She's going in there. That's not Loki. I know Loki. And that's not him. It's not him either. Don't fall for it. All right, the first order of March is getting weirder and weirder. I'm not sure what that noise was. Oh, it was a monorail. Okay, so we've walked all the way from the Japan Pavilion where Ethan had some sushi, and I haven't found anything that I really want. So now we are at the Odyssey, and I want everything. What about you? Well, everything. She even wants the salmon gâteau. Everything. <laughs> This is what happens when I walk halfway around the world without eating anything. I then eat everything. Okay, these are the hors d'oeuvres. From? Uh, the Odyssey Festival Center. These are the cronut thingies. And this is the um, pop tart. So now I'm having the MIA Jazz IPA. Yes, I can. LMNOP. All right, so while she's doing meal prep, I'll tell you about the IPA. It is all right. It's uh, very hoppy, which is what I was looking for, but it's also really citrusy. Not bad, though. It really is a pop tart. It's your turn to talk about the food. Okay, we did the, the hors d'oeuvres. It was a deviled egg. We really need the book because I don't know what the little ball of something was that was delicious. And I don't remember what the other thing This is not going real well because I can't the remember what shrimp thing. Oh, it was shrimp on something. Between the hors d'oeuvres and the cronuts plate, I like the hors d'oeuvre plate better even though the egg was kind of tasteless. All I tasted was bacon. Mm -hmm. But the other two things were phenomenal. The cronut plate, whatever was in the middle, was delicious. Oh, it was like a garlic or cream cheese kind of thing. It was absolutely delicious. The, I don't know if it's a potato or... It looks like potato salad. Chicken or something. Potatoes. It looks like potato salad, but I think there was meat in there. Also pretty good. And I'm not touching this, the other thing. It looks like raw stuff. Mm. And the Pop-Tarts are fabulous. Very sweet. Oh. Okay, we just ate here, and out of the cronuts, this one was my favorite. This one was the um, whipped garlic and fine herb cheese. Then there was uh, chicken salad, which was pretty good. It did not look like this picture. It looked more like potato salad. And then there was spicy tuna with wasabi. That was all Ethan. And then in the gallery bites, this is a risotto ball. 
it was fabulous. And then there was the deviled egg with bacon on top. All you could taste was bacon. I didn't really taste the deviled egg at all. And then this is um, shrimp with cucumber cream. That was also very good. That was probably my third favorite. I think that was my favorite, then this, or this, then that. I don't know. And then this. And then we had a cookie, a Pop-Tart. It's actually a Pop-Tart. It was very good. Hi. Fixing my risotto. We went to Canada. And we're both in the mood for savory. So we got the mushroom risotto. God, that looks good. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. So let's see how delicious this is. God, this is good. This is delicious. Highly recommend the mushroom risotto. From Canada. Well, Jamie is slowly savoring her risotto. I wolfed it down, so that's, that's pretty well my vote of confidence of it. Just like what we're looking for, very savory, uh, very woodsy. Mushroom, maybe? Yeah, it is cheesy. mushroom risotto, yeah. Very cheesy. But yeah, it's just well done and all around. Hot. Very creamy. Monsieur, where are we? We are in France, and I know because Belle is right over your shoulder. Yeah. This, can you turn it around? This is brie in a bread bowl. Which is not how they say it. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. What are you going to eat? This piece of bread. <gasps> so here's cheese 101. Actually, this is more like cheese 201 because people don't. 101 would be like craft slices. So camembert is double cream cheese, whereas brie is triple cream. So I personally am quite happy with camembert. Sometimes you just gotta free it up. And so this doesn't disappoint in that regard. It's very, it's a very rich cheese. It's, it's not heavy, like I don't feel like I'm gonna like have to sit under an oak tree and sleep this off, but it's not craft singles. <laughs> it's a very velvety, smooth cheese. And then the bread is kinda spongy. I don't know how to put it. It's like I don't know what the word is I want for this. She watches all the Bake Off stuff. I don't know. Um, it's not a firm bread. It's like a very spongy bread. So it tends to be very chewy. Uh, but when it's saturated with the brie, who cares? It's, my it's, just, it's, it's the brie delivery system. The bread was excellent. It had a nice crust. And it held the brie really well. The brie was very runny. So what we did was um, they give you a plate, and then they put a napkin, and then they put the bread bowl on it. So I got rid of the napkin and was able to cut the bread up for the two of us to split and made the plate into its own little bowl. And then we just sopped up the bread with the bread. Um, the brie is very good. It was, it was very creamy. Uh, it did not overpower. I thought maybe it would be too much cheese, but it didn't overpower the bread. The taste of the bread came through really nicely. I enjoyed it. Me too, in spite of myself. Pascal has good taste. Okay, this is the third time we've passed Taste Track today, and the line has looked like this every single time. Must be a new year. 
some of our best. All right, Sam, one, one, two, one, two, three. Right? Uh, yes. Okay, so we stopped by the bakery case at Sunshine Seasons just to see what there was. Well, there is like five different, or maybe four different seasonal cupcakes. There was like an apple, there were a couple other things, and then there was the Festival of the Arts cupcake. And I was like, oh. The girls said, oh, you're looking at the Festival of the Arts? I said, yeah. She goes, well, do you like peanut butter? And I said, we will take one, please. Thank you. We're not hungry, but we're not stuffed. So there's room. We've got to split this. It was just too pretty. And I asked the cashier, I said, if it's, if it's so pretty we don't eat it, do I have to pay for it? And I do. Well, that was terrible. <laughs> such small portions. <laughs> so how was it? It was not terrible. It was very good, but it is definitely, the only flavor is peanut butter. There's nothing to balance it out. So it was, and it was well baked. The frosting was good. It was good. Um, you really do have to like peanut butter though. Order. And not be it, allergic. It could have, um, it could have used a little chocolate. But wow, it was delicious and gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And Mickey's ears were just a little bit smaller, but they still sat in relative relatively the same spot. So I usually started right about here from his wow. head. Yeah, that was so good. Oh yeah. We're only on day one of this trip. What a difference a week makes. It's been about that long that we've been here in the spring, right? A week. So we were standing in this very spot last week, and what we did not see is what now what you can't get away from. <laughs> Donut ears. They are everywhere. So it's funny that that wall did not have all of those a week. These right here. It's crazy loud in uh, Wine Bar George, but this is the Moscato that was in my sangria at Art Smith's Homecoming. Alright, so we missed out on these last time we were here. And I think we, they were kind of like getting to walk past us when we looked at them and had instant buyers we were, so we didn't get to these. So now we've got the mac and cheese bites and flour. Wow. It's like everything that could be right about it is right about it. Texture. The cheese is delicious. Excellent. We may end up with more.
Okay, so that was our first course. Terrible lighting. Hello. Okay, so that was our first course at Wine Bar George. We sat at the bar and um, each had a glass of wine, which I rarely do, so I'm a little woo. Okay, so we're gonna, our reservation should be any minute now, and we're going to have dinner. And I think I'm going to switch to Diet Coke. Maybe. Act two at Wine Bar George. We've been seated upstairs. The decimal level is quieter. Oh, really? Much more seated. We're in a, we're in a nice little quiet corner here. Perfect. We just got the meatballs with polenta delivered to the table. There's more to come. No pressures. We have nowhere to put it, so I guess we'll have to just put it away. Here's the inside of the meatball. Here's the more food. All right. Thank you. Holy cow, that's huge! It's a romaine, a grilled romaine salad with crispy Parmesan crispies. All right, we have to eat really fast because we have like nowhere to put anything in this set. So the meatballs is where I'm at right now. The lunch is really creamy. They've only got a thing for kicky tomato sauce. If you're not into spicy kind of kicky tomato sauce, then you probably are going to want to pass on it. So far, that's the mac and cheese bites and the meatballs, as far as I know. I personally like it, but I just want to throw that out there. Uh, meatball overall, really good. Nice and solid, and here's our fourth food. Fantastic, thank you. Thank you, I need that in still working on all of it. Um, not so, right yet. Still there, Alright, so what did we do? Oh, we're so far and over our heads here. We ordered four small plates. One of them is ginormous. Look at the size of the salad. So this is the grilled romaine with Parmesan crust. We have chicken satay, which we had last time. It's delicious. Those are the cheesy, the mac and cheese bites that are phenomenal. Back for an encore. And then the meatballs. And I was telling you about the meatballs. Really good. Worth it. You know, Disney Food Blog was dissing on this. It is better than they said it was. So don't listen to them, listen to us. Alright, so I'm going in on these chicken skewers again. I had these last time I went to, or our only other time I went to Wine Board George. It was when uh, our grandkids were coming into town, so we were a little preoccupied and distracted. But Jamie tells me these are my favorite at the time, so I'm interested to revisit these and see how they are. Yeah, so these are chicken satay. It's, needless to say, it's got a very Asian bent to it. It's got kind of a soy taste, kind of like a smoky barbecue taste also. And then there's like this Asian slaw. I like it. I mean, the, the cheese bites are like really hard to beat at this point, so it's kind of like a losing battle with everything else. But, but yeah, definitely if you're considering the cheese or the chicken skewers, not a bad way to go. How's the romaine? It's very good. I've had one other grilled romaine and I didn't like it as much, so I'm not sure why I wanted it again. It just sounded delicious. It's huge. I keep saying huge. This is huge. These Parmesan crisps are delicious. You like that a lot. I just cut it. The dressing is is really good. All right. So I had a few bites of the romaine and a tiny bite of the cheese crisp thing that they put with it. Uh, cheese crisp is nice. Um, the 
romaine, I like it. I'm just I'm having trouble placing the flavors besides lettuce. But yeah, that charredness to it, like whatever they did, like with the grilling. They grilled it. But yeah, I mean, like it's not smoky. It's not the word for it. I don't know how to put it. But it definitely adds a dimension having that charredness to it without it being Swiss chard, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's. I think we've we've done well tonight with our picks. Really. Yeah, it's just we don't have a big enough table to support it. At least they got rid of some of it. <laughs> yeah, we help. So the romaine was just a bridge too far, really. It was a casualty of all the other great food we had. Did you see everything was terrible? I would get it again. It was very good, but not knowing how big it is, I was not expecting anything near this huge. Um, maybe mac and cheese bites, splitting those, and then I get the salad, and that's it. That sounds more reasonable to me. Right, we're not actually eating here. It's never open whenever we walk by. We're usually here way too early. The grape of the day is peanut butter and banana. I cannot eat another bite. I'm bummed. I would cry every day my life. I want to lie in my bones. The balloon ran late at night, but there it is. Yes, it does. Look at now. Do you believe me that that's the Magic Kingdom? What that? <laughs> that light spot. The glow in the distance. Yeah. How about this? No.